Cody Brackett was born with spina bifida, a neural tube defect. As a result, he has a shunt in his brain to relieve the pressure of fluid buildup. He also has no feeling from mid-calf down. With hard work, this energetic, happy young boy may learn to walk with braces and a walker. Cody is one of thousands of children born each year with neural tube defects, a condition caused by defects in the formation of the brain and spine. Now, I'd like to take the next few minutes to talk to you about the important role folic acid plays in preventing most neural tube defects. Now, this is an especially important message if you're a woman living in North Carolina. North Carolina is located in a region of the United States that has, over the years, had the highest rate of neural tube defects in the nation. But Dr. Bill Allen of the Fullerton Genetic Center says there's a simple solution to preventing most neural tube defects. Well, it really is pretty simple. Women of childbearing age should take a multivitamin with folic acid every day. That's right. Women of childbearing age should take a multivitamin containing folic acid every day. Dr. Allen says in order for folic acid to prevent neural tube defects, a woman has to take the multivitamin every day beginning at least two months before pregnancy. Cody's mom, Christina, learned about the importance of taking a multivitamin containing folic acid after she realized she was pregnant. Right when I found out I was pregnant, I started like two weeks before I found out I was pregnant. So I had been looking up stuff and my aunt had me on them. Centrum vitamins in case I was to get pregnant sometime soon. So, not, not long enough. What is folic acid? Folic acid is a B vitamin. Folates are the natural forms of folic acid found in foods such as orange juice and other citrus fruits and juices. Leafy green vegetables, beans, peanuts, broccoli, asparagus, peas, lentils, and whole grain products. But researchers, the March of Dimes, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the Institute of Medicine recommend that women who could become pregnant consume 400 micrograms a day of the synthetic form folic acid found in most multivitamins. Dr. Allen says it's unclear how folic acid helps prevent or reduce the likelihood of neural tube defects. But what is known is that folic acid has to be taken before pregnancy. The reason? the brain and spine begin forming within the first 28 days after conception. That's before most women know they're pregnant. And if there's an abnormality in that formation, uh, by the time one realizes that one is pregnant, there's already uh, uh, a change that has occurred in that development, so it's too late to take folic acid at that point. You have to be on the folic acid prior to conception. That's something that uh, we really keep saying and saying because that's so important. Although it's unclear how folic acid helps prevent neural tube defects, researchers and families are all too familiar with the impact a lack of folic acid has on the formation of the embryo. A neural tube defect occurs when the neural tube fails to close properly, leaving the developing brain or spinal cord exposed to the amniotic fluid. It's known that some neural tube defects will occur even with the use of folic acid. The most common neural tube defects are spina bifida, anencephaly, and encephalocele. This model shows the back view of a human embryo at 23 days after conception. The back portion of the embryo is rolled into a tube called the neural tube. The lower end becomes the spine, the upper end, the brain. Just one day before, the neural tube begins to close in a zipper-like fashion from the middle towards the end. Closure will normally be complete within a week. Neural tube defects occur when the neural tube fails to close completely. Failure of the neural tube to close over the lower spine causes spina bifida. Failure to close in the region of the developing brain causes anencephaly or encephalocele. Spina bifida can result in paralysis of the infant's legs, loss of bowel and bladder control, and water on the brain. Learning disabilities can also be associated with spina bifida. 80 to 90 percent of infants born with spina bifida live, and despite varying degrees of disability, many lead successful and productive lives. Anencephaly is a fatal condition in which the brain either never completely develops or is totally absent. Anencephalocele is caused by a defect in the baby's skull. The baby's brain and its membranes push through the defect. Most affected babies will have mental retardation. You may be asking, when do I need to start taking folic acid? Dr. Allen stresses, if you're a woman of childbearing age or between the ages of 14 to 44, you should begin taking 400 micrograms of folic acid every day, starting today. This can be taken as folic acid alone or in the form of a multivitamin. It uh, 
uh, is important to realize that at least half of pregnancies are unplanned. So certainly if all pregnancies were planned, then one can say, yep, when we're ready to start uh, thinking about having a child, then we can start taking folic acid. But that's not the case. At least half of pregnancies are unplanned, especially in those uh, much younger age groups. So. One of the first steps in preventing neural tube defects is knowing what to do. Simply taking a multivitamin with folic acid every day can prevent most neural tube defects. It's that simple. For more information, visit the North Carolina Folic Acid Council's website at www.getfolic.com or call 888-810-2800, extension 3.